Act on Press, a strong opinion piece by John Carmack. If somehow you don't know who John Carmack is, I highly recommend fixing that. He is one of the most important and legendary people in all of software engineering. I largely know of him, not just from that game era, but from the chaos that was virtual reality stuff, where he felt very motion sick when he first tried a Galaxy VR thing, Gear VR, I think it was called, when the Samsung phones could be used in a headset to do VR stuff. And he was disgusted at how slow the rendering was and how he'd turn his head and the video would catch up after and it would make him feel sick. And he was just disappointed because back when he built games, he had almost no CPU or GPU at all. And he still managed to make things run at 60 FPS. So why the fuck is a phone that is a thousand times more powerful still running at like 20 to 30 FPS? So he came up with some crazy hacks, specifically asynchronous space warp and asynchronous time warp, which were methods to allow for the GPU buffer to create new frames without having enough data to do it and fill in the gaps so that you would always have the most up-to-date location in your face when using VR, which made it way less likely to make you motion sick. So he has cared about these little pieces of interactions in especially 3D for a long time now. So if he's going to come and say, we're doing things wrong in 2D, I'm going to listen because this guy has died on so many hills in order to make better interactive experiences in video games and in VR. He probably knows what he's talking about here too, and I'm excited to read it. Act on press. This is a UI design hill I will die on, and it dismays me how often and hard I have to fight for it. Almost all interaction methods have a press and release event associated with them. Whenever possible, you should do the thing when you get the press event instead of waiting for the release event because it makes the interaction feel substantially more responsive and it reduces errors by not allowing the focus to slide out of the hotbox between press and release. Oh, the amount of things I use where I click a button and it moves while I'm clicking the button. I, I have considered dropping services entirely because of bugs like that, because it is the most infuriating thing in the world. YouTube Studio, I'm looking at you. Even a ballistic tap where your finger's intentionally bouncing off the button or touch surface involves several tens of milliseconds delay between the press and the release. And most button presses will have well over 100 milliseconds of dwell time. This is a delight in interfaces because it feels like they respond instantly to your wishes. And the benefit to every single user is often more important than additional niche features. I have this counter component. I'm currently clicking on the increment button. When I let go, it goes up. When I'm holding it like I am right now, if I move the mouse out of the way and let go, it no longer counts it because it's not on mouse down, it's on click. And if we go back to the code, you'll see on click is what we have bound. We can change this to be on mouse down. And now when you click, it instantly, okay, I'm already sold. That feels hilariously better. That like, you can't tell because you can't see exactly what I'm clicking, but holy shit. That, that feels significantly better. I'm mostly sold. The one thing I would be unsure of is there's plenty of times where I click and realize I clicked the wrong thing, so I move off it and let go. And losing that would suck because I'm clicking, moving the mouse and letting go. It still counted that click. But for almost everything I've ever built, yeah, this is better. Keep talking. You have me paying attention, Carmack. There is a delight in interfaces that feel like they respond instantly to your wishes and the benefit to every single user is often more important than additional niche features. Yeah, he leans a little harder than I do in the make everything really pleasant thing. Meh, checks and balances, benefits and negatives. Game developers with simple UI toolkits tend to get this right more often, but sophisticated app designers will often fight hard against it because it's mostly incompatible with operations like interactive touch scrolling views, long press menus, as well as drag and drop. Being able to drag scroll a web page or view with interactive controls in it is here to stay and nets out way better than having to use a separate scroll bar. But there are still tons of fixed position controls that could act on press and it's good UI design to favor them when possible. Like here, if you were to try and scroll past this, it will likely click when you're doing the scroll on mobile. I Do I wanna actually test this quick? Am I actually going to do that? Flex, flex, call, text, 2XL, P, 8, W, fault, and change this to a div, item center, there we go. And now I can mount way too many of these. Now it's guaranteed the scroll. I'll just use my local IP address on my local network. Cool, that worked. So now I have on my phone the same code. It still handles scroll fine. So I don't even buy the scroll argument. It's like I'm scrolling and none of these are getting changed. I'm like intentionally holding increment and moving up and down and it's not triggering. 
nothing's happening. I'm tapping count and it's going up. But when I hold and scroll, no. It seems like mobile environments are smart enough to not trigger on mouse down. So we're good. It means we can probably just use this. I wasn't even sure that would be the case. I'm happy I learned that. And I'm sure a lot of people in comments are going to be like, wow, Theo, you didn't know how on mouse down works. And the other half are going to be like, holy shit, I had no idea it worked like that. Because most people don't know these intricacies because most of us just use the thing that we're told to use, which in this case is on click. And since this is what everybody uses, this is what we all use too. But it seems like on mouse down is honestly a fine option. And yes, drag and drop sucks. But drag and drop is a different enough thing that we should treat it differently anyways. So I, I am even more sold than I was before after that demo. Yeah. In the early days of mobile VR, the system keyboard was a dedicated little OpenGL app that responded instantly. With a full internationalization, it became prudent to turn it into a conventional Android app, but the default act on release button behavior made it feel noticeably crappier. The design team resisted a push to change it and insisted on commissioning in a user study, which is a corporate politics ploy to bury something. Yeah, the amount of times I've had obviously right things get shut down because somebody said, well, where's the data? And insisted on doing some stupid fucking study about something that was obviously wrong where no user wanted it because they just wanted to to block you. Yes, this, well, we need to commission a study is the best way to keep somebody else from doing the thing that is right. And yeah, I was irritated at how they tried to use leading questions and tasks, but it still came back one of the clearest slam dunks I've seen for user testing. Objectively fewer typos, expressed preferences, and interview comments about the act on press version feeling crisper and more responsive. Yeah, I can't imagine keyboards ever being on release. Like what I'm typing, I am pressing the A key now. I'm still holding the A key, but the thought of a keyboard input that doesn't immediately make the keys appear when you press them is really silly. The idea of a light switch where you click the button and you have to let go for the light to actually change colors. The way the real world works isn't on release, it's on press. Like imagine you turn your key and the car doesn't start until you let go of the key. No, duh, why do we do this wrong? So I won that one, but the remaining times I brought it up for other interfaces, I did not. And you'll still see act on release throughout the meta VR system interfaces. Well, you have one more advocate now, John. We don't always agree. But goddamn, are you right on this? Even more so than I thought when I first saw it. I'm happy I sat here and took the time because this is an obvious win and I'm legitimately going to consider moving things away from on click and to on mouse down in a lot of the things that I build going forward. That feels significantly, obviously better. And as per usual, John Carmack is just right about shit when he talks about it. So thank you for bringing this up. Thank you for taking the time to write that. And thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you gonna go on mouse down some stuff? Because I know I am. Until next time. Peace, nerds.